Dr. Mary Kaiser? It sounds like a woman. Yes, just relax. Everything's going to be fine. I'll see you next Wednesday, Dr. Kaiser. What are you staring at? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you, 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 look, you look so... What's this, Kaiser? Another one of your nutcases? There's, there's something about, about your face. I'm not too crazy about yours, either. Ha have, haven't we... So one... I'd love to stay around here and listen to you stutter all night, but I have a life to live. Psycho. Hi, I'm Mary Kaiser. I'm Joanna. And this is Dick. Nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse my last patient. It's taken me years to undo the damage that was done to him by some quack in Chicago. <laughs> Go on in. The rest of the group should be here shortly. When, uh... I agreed to do this. You didn't say anything about a semicircle. <laughs> damn it, Tish. You didn't have to go and slam my finger in the damn door of the damn pickup. Well, I wouldn't if you at least tried to help me get out. No, I'm pregnant. Or couldn't you tell? <laughs> Dick, Joanna, Tommy Lee, and Tish. Hi. I have to shake Lefty. Fool woman's out to cripple me. <laughs> Welcome to couples group. Another couple may be joining us, but let's just get started. Since you're all new to group, I think it's important to stress that we should all be completely open with each other. I'm not opening up to them. <laughs> now then, Tommy Lee and Tish, why don't you tell us why you're here? To be honest, our marriage has stopped growing. You see, we have a lot in common. Tish is a cow, on top of which she gambles away my paychecks on the dog races. <laughs> Two peas in a pod. Paycheck? You suck back your paycheck. When you can keep a job long enough to get one. <laughs> huh. Tommy Lee, how does that make you feel? Well, it hurts, Dr. Kaiser. So much so, I want to take a handful of beer nuts and throw them in her fat face. You cry! Go home now. <laughs> Dick, was there something you wanted to share? Uh, just that uh, I, I, I don't think we should be hearing this. <laughs> I think what's making you feel uncomfortable, Dick, is that Tish and Tommy Lee are expressing honest emotions. Honesty, Dick, is what this group is all about. <laughs> Sorry we're late, Dr. Kaiser. Well, look who's back. Chuck and Dawn. Chuck and Dawn? What are Dick and Joanna doing here? Please take your seats. What is it, Dick? That wart thing? No! <laughs> so, what did we miss? Dr. Kaiser was just explaining the importance of being honest, Dawn. Chuck and Dawn, you already seem to know Dick and Joanna. You used your real name? Aren't you ashamed? Yes. <laughs> and this is Tommy Lee and Tish. Ever seen the inside of a mobile home, Chicky? <laughs> At this time, what do you two see as your greatest difficulty? Our boy, Harold. Last week, you shot a hole right through our neighbor. <laughs> Kids got a lot of anger in them. Are they going to talk all night? Some of us have real problems. <laughs> well, Dawn, as I recall, the last time you two were here, your problems seemed rather trivial and foolish. <laughs> Well, that was then. This time, it's all too real. 
Oh, I, I'm sorry. What is it? I can't be ears as a child. <laughs> Our neighbor had big ears. Still has one. <laughs> that we got back to an adult. Dick, tell us why you came to group. Joanna made me. <laughs> Dr. Kaiser, I think what Dick meant to say is we're stagnating. Our marriage should be more of a, oh, what's the word, a whirlwind. <laughs> There's a certain sameness about our life together. Well, what do you want, excitement or Dick? <laughs> <laughs> Well, good one. <laughs> you know, I am beginning to see a common thread here. <laughs> and I think it can be summed up in the simple phrase, nobody's perfect. Which is why we all have to learn to accept each other exactly the way we are. Well, obviously you don't run the risk of having a big-eared child. <laughs> No, I don't, but but if you had one, Dawn, wouldn't you still love and accept it? Well, of course. But do you think it's healthy for a child to see his parents burst into tears every time he walks in the room? <laughs> All right, if it's such a big deal, get the kids' ears fixed. Plastic surgery? Yes. Well, that's what I've been saying, Dawn. Well, I know, old Chuck, but you're biased. You were one of them. <laughs> Now, somehow, coming from a normal-eared professional, it all makes sense. Then... we are cured. <laughs> Thank God, Chuck. <laughs> oh, Dr. K, you're a whiz! <laughs> Come on, Dawn, let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, Chuck, our nightmare is finally over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. They, they, they get to leave? Uh-huh. And they're cured? They seem to think so. You know, doll, I feel ashamed for griping about our petty problems. Oh, baby. We got a good life. <laughs> told us all about your life with Dick. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, seems to have cleared the room. Tell us how you'd envision a life if you weren't married to Dick. A life without Dick? Yes, for instance, where would you live? Well, I certainly wouldn't want to leave the area. Dick and I love it here. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Dick is out of the picture. Only you now. Right. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I suppose I'd get a little house nearby. I mean, Dick and I have made so many friends. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I've made so many friends. Mm. Then maybe I'd start a little business. I mean, after seven years of running an inn, Dick and I have gotten so good at... <laughs> I've gotten so... Yes, Joanna. Ah, oh, it's just so hard to envision my life without Dick. Besides, I'd, I'd miss him. Perhaps your marriage isn't so much stagnant as it is comfortable. Comfortable? All this time, we've been comfortable. And it only costs us 80 bucks to find out. <laughs> I know this evening has been emotionally draining for the both of you. So I want you to feel free to sit here a while and reflect on all the breakthroughs that we've made. Good night. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll start up the car. Dick. Oh, baby, we got a good life, too. You bet. <laughs>